Number 50. The arrangement of atoms in several biologically important molecules is given here. Complete the Lewis structures of these molecules by adding multiple bonds and lone pairs. Do not add any more atoms. Okay, so basically we have to take these skeleton or backbone drawings, right, of all five of these, and we have to basically add either more bonds or lone electrons. And that comes from knowing how many valence electrons they had in the beginning. So this trend of knowing that hydrogen has one valence electron and then group 13 all the way to 18 has three to eight valence electrons. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to say A, the amino acid serine, which is found here. So I'm going to just write this out quickly. They gave us an oxygen that's bound to this. Carbon has two hydrogens. They have a carbon that has a, nit a hydrogen down here. We have an ox. Oop, we have a carbon that has an oxygen and a hydrogen, and then another oxygen up here, and then a nitrogen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically match up how many valence electrons these atoms started with and how many they should have at the end. So in this case, we have oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen. Those are the only four different elements of um, this atom. So carbon should have four valence, nitrogen should have had five, oxygen should have six, and hydrogen should have one valence electron. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the dots a little bit bigger and show you. So remember, any single bond always has one electron at one end and one electron on the other end. So in this case, for this bond right here, there was one electron for hydrogen and one electron for oxygen. So I'm just going to go through that. Now for oxygen, it should have had six valence electrons, right? But there's only two here. There's one from this side and there's one from this side, which means that there should be four more electrons. So I'm going to put those in here. Now let's go to carbon. Carbon has four valence electrons, so the one that I drew right there is the one of them, two, three, and four. So all of those electrons are accounted for, and these hydrogens all had one electron, so that's good. And now I'm dropping down to here. So this hydrogen should have one, whoop, one electron, two electrons, three, and four. And now let's go over to this nitrogen. And let me actually just erase this just so that it's not perpetually highlighted. And now nitrogen should have five valence electrons. So look what's gonna happen. There was one at this end, two, three, but there's two extra, so I have to include them. And then the hydrogens are all good. If you see a hydrogen with a, a single bond, it's always going to work out, so that guy is good. Now this carbon, there is one, two, three electrons, but carbon wants to have four. So that means I had to add another one. And then oxygen had six, so one, two, I have to add four more, three, four, five, six, and that hydrogen's good. And the same thing goes with this oxygen, right? It had one, so it has to have five more. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So look at this carbon right here, right? This carbon does not have the octet. It has two, four, six, seven electrons. And look at this oxygen, two, four, six, seven. So what do you think? In this case, this is one of the cases where we have to draw the multiple bond. This electron will swing up here, and this electron will come down here to make the double bond. So in this case, we do need to draw the double bond, which is right there. And now this carbon's happy. It has two, four, six, eight electrons, and the oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons. And I like to make everything symmetrical. So I'm just going to take those two electrons and just put them over here. And A is done. B, urea. So we have H, N, C, N, H. There's an H up top here. There's a O and then there's a H. So let's go around and see if the number of electrons are equal to what we are given here. So all the hydrogens are going to be good because hydrogens only have one electron. So that's good. 
Now for nitrogen, remember nitrogen has five valence electrons. So for this nitrogen right here, oops. So for this nitrogen right here, it would have one, two, three. It needs two more, so I have to add a lone pair here. This carbon has four valence electrons. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's another one. This nitrogen has one, two, three. It needs five, so it needs a lone pair. And then this oxygen has six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we look at this carbon, it has two, four, six, seven electrons. So that's not the octet. This has two, four, six, seven. So what's going to happen? The same thing that happened before. This electron will swoop up to make a double bond. And now both this carbon and this oxygen are satisfied with eight valence electrons. And that's B. So we had to add, we had to add this lone pair, this lone pair, and a double bond, and these lone pairs as well. All right, C. We have H, C, H, H, C, O, C, O, H, and then there's a oxygen up top here. So hydrogen all have one electron, so that's all good. Carbon wants to have four valence electrons, so one, two, three, four. They're all accounted for. This carbon has the octet, two, four, six, eight, so he's good. This carbon, let's see, should have four valence, one, two, three, four. So I see someone's lone here, alone, so that probably means it's going to pair up. And this carbon as well, it has one, two, three. So there's one extra over here. Let's look at the oxygens now. Oxygen wants to have six valence electrons. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so how are we going to fix this carbon? Right, this one has seven valence electrons, and this oxygen also has two, four, six, seven. So it's going to form that double bond. This electron will swing up top here to bind with the electron over here, right? So there makes the double bond, and this carbon and this oxygen are happy now. And the same thing is going to happen for this carbon and this oxygen, because they're not happy. So this will swing up here. This electron, that's lonely, will swing down here, and now you'll form a double bond. And let me just erase these two. I'm going to put them over here, just so that everything is symmetrical. And that's the answer for C. We added a couple of double bonds. We added this double bond and this double bond, and lone pairs all over the place. Next, uracil. Now, this is a ring. I'm going to put this down here, D. We have uracil, which has to be drawn in a ring, but same premise nonetheless. So we have oxygen bound to carbon, nitrogen, there's a carbon, hydrogen, there's a hydrogen, carbon, there's an oxygen, Let's see if I could fit this, um, carbon, bound to carbon, there's a hydrogen here. And let me just drag this upward just so that I have a little bit of room. That's good enough. And then this nitrogen, I'll just drop it down there because we have to draw an extra hydrogen down here. And now we are ready. So let's see, each hydrogen is good, right? So one, 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 and one, those are always good. Now let's work on the carbons. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And they all have four valence electrons. So I will say one, two, three, four. So this electron's probably going somewhere. This carbon has one, two, three, and four. So that's going somewhere probably. The one down below, one, two, three, and four. And then the carbon on the left-hand side, one, two, three, and four. Now let's work on the nitrogens. Nitrogen should have five valence electrons. So for the one down below, one, two, three, four, five. So that one looks good. 
but this nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five. So that one looks good. And then the oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So let's fix these up. This carbon is unhappy because it has two, four, six, seven electrons. And this oxygen is unhappy because it has two, four, six, seven. So I will add a multiple bond. So this electron here is going to be dragged over here. And this electron will swing over here to make the double bond. So that's that. Now what about this carbon? It has two, four, six, seven electrons. And if we just figure out the oxygen up top, it should have six, right? I'll just put it over here. Now I can bind it. So this one comes over here. It's going to hook up with the lone one from the oxygen. And now I have a double bond. And now this oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons. And the carbon has two, four, six, eight. So that's good. And now I see that this carbon has two, four, six, seven electrons. So that one's the octet. And this carbon has two, four, six, seven electrons. So they will form a double bond. One lone pair over here, well, one electron here and one electron here, will form that last double bond. And that's the answer for D. And now we come to E, which I can fit over here, carbonic acid, which is H-O-C-O-H, -O -H, and then we have an O up top here. So all the hydrogens are good because they always have the one electron, so they're good. Let's do the oxygens now. Oxygen should have six valence electrons. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and this oxygen has the octet already. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll just add a six over here. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. So that has the octet. And then let's just do the carbon in the middle. One, two, three, but carbon should have four valence electrons. And if I notice here, it has two, four, six, seven electrons. And this oxygen has two, four, six, seven as well. So just like before, they're going to form a double bond. So this electron over here is going to swing up so that it can multiple bond with that oxygen. And there you go. And that is E. So this one was kind of fun. This one you had to understand how much or how many valence electrons did the atom start with. And then from there, you had to make your octet rule work. So all the elements here wanted to have eight valence electrons, except for hydrogen, we wanted to have two. And that's a super important concept to know, especially for Lewis structures. And when you move on to organic chemistry, trust me, you guys will need to know that. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. If you want, hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 100. Thank you for that. Thanks for the support. Hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe out there. See you in the next lesson.